Hello, this is Sonia from A Happy Space. Welcome back at my channel. I'm continuing in my journey in my Thankful 30 little booklet I made. Today is day six and I am documenting a, a family member you are grateful for. Obviously, I've done already my children and my husband. And after that, the family member I'm the most grateful for is my um my twin sister. Sorry for anybody I'm left out of my family, but I had to choose one. And I mean, you can't really compete with a twin sister. Um, yes, she is really, I'm so thankful to first of all have a sister and above all having a twin sister. So it's such a privilege having it and I don't take it for granted and I really um, enjoy her company and her presence in my life. So on the left hand side you saw I've put my journey down. I'm just going to quickly read you that. It says today I'm thankful for my twin sister. I'm forever grateful that I'm so privileged having a lifelong best friend which I also call my sister. I admire her love for people and her friendliness. I can see Jesus in her every day and she is a real inspiration to me and I enjoy going for coffee and I love getting that SMS message coffee question mark after our mom died a few years ago she's a real source of support to me I love the fact we live five minutes away from each other thank you sis for everything yes I truly um, love um, to spend time with her going for coffees and yeah, I just wanted to document and remember that. I'm using this black little labeling, or not label, black journaling card, which I, I was inspired by my top I've got, and I've got a black top with flowers, on, and it actually matched perfectly, so I wanted to pick up the black from my photo, and I thought I'm going to use this black um, journaling card, and I've just put day, I tried to squeeze it in the white flower, it didn't 100% work, I had to go in with the cookie as you saw, and just to, to to finish the Y off, and then I obviously used the six, number six, um, just to complete it, it is day six. Now on the right hand side, I'm just putting the photo down. This is a very recent photo of the two of us. We celebrated my husband's 50th birthday and we went out all out to a restaurant. And it was just a nice photo of the two of us. So I, I thought it was nice. I'm trying to continue the sort of the black theme by using these beautiful flowers from the Auburn Lane collection. And there's a little, a little small little washi tape strip it's not really washi tape but it's obviously meant for a little sort of a decorative washi tape strip and um, with these also fainted black flowers and then I've got this pink strip um of washi tape which I absolutely adore it is absolutely gorgeous I wish I had washi tape like that obviously I can print it off because it's a printable and I can use it over and over again but as you know it's so much easier just having washi tape just pull it off and the, the stickiness is already on there so yeah I, I, I wanted to just make the layout a little bit softer with that pink washi st um, stripe in there and there and um, now I'm just thinking where I'm going to put it down I've already um and there I'm showing you the beautiful washi tape. I've put down already the flowers around the photo. Um, just to I didn't want to bore you of all the the stickiness and the and 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 that. Um, so I'm just putting some double sided tape on there at that stage. I'm always out of my <laughs> my print. I can never find it when I need it. So I'm just using double sided tape for everything today. I think. So yeah, I'm just securing that there, and then I've put this word fetty or oops, um, sentiment. The best is yet to come, um, and I want and I've um, punts hard punts out the word wonderful. I think it was just a ephemera piece from the print printed Auburn Lane, which I just um, put through my little um heart puncher, um, and it fitted perfectly the wonderful in there, and I'm just putting that sort of just sliding it behind the the best is yet to come. Just for a little point of interest to bring a little bit more black in. On the left hand side, um, I've also put that black word fetty there at the top which says in everything give thanks. And then also you and me, that little black, um, almost a little tag there I've put there which um, yeah, I didn't mention. So yeah, now I'm putting it in a little book to see how it looks. Just going through it and showing how it looks. Um, I love this I, I layout. I love the black with the flowers. It's such a nice and interesting combination. I think it's quite in fashion at the moment. So for the more darker um, type of um, colors with the flowers. Then the next one is day seven. And that the prompt was um, an item that makes your home a home. 
And um, this is definitely our fireplace. We live in South Africa, but it can get very cold here in the winters, especially in Cape Town, can become very wet. So, our, And we don't have central heating. Nobody really has central heating in South Africa. So um, we are very thankful for this wood burner. And my journaling I've put down is thank you. Uh, today I'm thankful for our wood burner. When we bought our house, Annie said that I could have free reins regarding decorating the style of the house. But the only thing we want, what you wanted was a wood burner. It keeps us incredibly warm in the winter and it's the only thing our two cats get it's the only time our two cats get along. It makes our home so cozy. I love sitting in front of her doing crocheting or watching TV. Our home would not be the same without it. So yeah, they I'm showing you the cats. They the only time they get on they sort of ignore each other most of the time. But if they if their paths cross, they, they always have a little cat fight. So that's the only time they're willing to be living peacefully next to each other is if they can sit in front of the fire. So that is quite funny. So they've got both their little pillows there and they're lying in front of the fire and up in front of the fire on a cold winter's evening so yeah um, I really that is such a blessing having that wood burner it really transformed the um, the room um, in the winter from a very very cozy place because we've got wooden floorboards that can sometimes be a bit cold um, cold if you don't have a carpet um, but yeah that makes it very nice um, in the meantime I've used this scrabble pieces a free printable um um, which I've, if you follow, if you looked at my plans for gratitude documenting, the free printable is um, in there. So I'll I will link the video also so you can have a look. And I'm just spelling out the word fire, and then I've put a little huck, a little flower buns sort of around the photo, which is also from the Auburn Lane collection. Unfortunately, I should have put the photo. I was planning to put that house down, but then I forgot about it, and then I've put my photo on already on top of it. Uh, on, on the uh, on the cart and then there wasn't really much space for that home so I'm trying to squeeze see where I'm going to put it maybe on that side but then I was going to cover my journaling so I've decided to put it there on the top right hand side of my photo looks a little bit off balanced of the fact that there's so much space there underneath fire I should have actually put a little washi tape there at the bottom I might actually go back and do that just to bring a little bit balance to to this layout because otherwise it's very top heavy in the meantime, I'm just um, stamping my day. This is a beautiful sort of a typewriter type of font, small little um, stamping blocks I bought once. It's so useful. Um, I really enjoy um, having that. I've messed up a little bit the day, so I've got a little black splot next to the wire. I'm going to put a, a golden rose, little rose um, um, sticky um um, thingy there so just to cover up that black I didn't really like that so yeah um, as you can see at the back of my journey I've put a brown doily just to bring the brownness of the of the darker photo and the house roof in there just to, just to bring that together Um, so I'm just putting it in my booklet to show you how it looks um, yeah, I love this layout. Also, it's, it's so wonderful just to go back and see what you're thankful for, all the things you take for granted. So I, I find it a very useful exercise. I hope you enjoyed these two layouts. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And I hope to see you very soon with some more layouts. In the meantime, I'm leaving you with some close-up photos. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>